Hello friends, I am so glad you're here today. Let's start by singing our welcome song. Hello my friends, who's here today? Say hello and play a game. Hello my friends, who's here today? Say hello and play a game. Come on, shake a hand. High five. Spin around. Now say your name. Jesus loves you. Yes, it's true. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Jesus loves you. Yes, it's true. He loves you. He loves you. And you. And you. And you. And you. Hello, my friend. To our Bible point today. Our Bible point is that God always loves us. Every time you hear the words, God always loves us, open your hands and say, wow, God. Let's try it. God always loves us. Wow, God. God always loves us. Wow, God. God always loves us. Wow, God. God is with us even when things are new or scary. Let's say something together. Do what I do. And you're gonna repeat after me. There's no need to fuss. Now you're trying. There's no need to fuss. God's love is with us. Your turn. God's love is with us. God always loves us. Wow, God. Your turn. God always loves us. Wow, God. All right, let's try to say it together. This time we won't repeat. You'll say it with me. There's no need to fuss. God's love is with us. God always loves us. Wow, God. Let's try it again. There's no need to fuss. God's love is with us. God always loves us. Wow, God. Let's sing a song to tell God we love him too. While the song is playing, get up and dance along with the video.
I just love to sing and dance. Now it's time to talk to our friend, Buzzly B. Buzzly will introduce us to our Bible memory buddy friend. Let's call for Buzzly. Put out your little bee wings and buzz like a bee and call for Buzzly. Oh, Buzzly. Oh, Buzzly. Buzz, 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 buzz. Let's play hide and seek. Cover your eyes and take a peek. Can you see Buzzly B? Hi, Buzzly. Hi, kids. I'm Buzzly B, your buddy. B, leave me. I'm so happy to see you today. <laughs> if you're happy, buzz like a bee and smile like me. Ready? One, two, three, buzz. <laughs> I can't wait for you to meet my Bible buddy. Her name is Savannah, and she's a tall giraffe. Can you raise your hand really high and wave hello? Hello, Savannah. Hello, friends. You're right. My name is Savannah, and I'm a giraffe. Seeing you is so refreshing. Do you know what else is refreshing? A nice, cool drink of water. Ah. I don't have a water fountain where I live, so when I'm thirsty, I go get a drink at the watering hole. I have to stretch way down low for a drink, and my knees don't really bend very well. I'm a little wobbly. It's a good thing I have friends around to watch out for me when I'm getting a drink. Do you have friends who watch out for you? When friends watch out for you, they're showing you God's love. In the Bible, book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 18, it says, And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. In the Bible, we read about a man who was close friends with God. His name was Noah. God told Noah to build a boat big enough to hold two of every kind of animal. Talk about a lot of animal friends in one place. God sent a flood to wash away everything he'd created, but he kept Noah and his family safe. God took care of the animals on the boat, too. When the flood was over, God gave the world a fresh start and he promised to never fill up the world with water again. Sometimes we need a fresh start too. We need to say, I'm sorry, and will you forgive me? Even when we make a mess, God always loves us. God sent Jesus to forgive us and be our forever friend. That's such good news. It means God always loves us. Let's tell Buzzly B the great news. We'll say God always loves us. Together, on the count of three, one, two, three, God always loves us. Wow, God, it's totally true. Believe me, God loves you and you and you. It's time for me to buzz away. Don't forget. God loves you each and every day. Let's wave goodbye. Bye, friends. Bye, Buzzly. Santa is our Bible memory buddy. She's a giraffe. Can you see her on the poster? Giraffes drink from a watering hole, and they usually go to get a drink with a buddy. The Bible is God's true story of love. Our Bible memory verse comes from the Bible. Let's say it together. I'll say a line, and then you repeat after me. And may you have the power. So now you say it. And may you have the power to understand, your turn, to understand as all God's people should, as all God's people should, how why? Your turn. How wide, how long, your turn. How long, how high, your turn. How high, and how deep, your turn. And how deep, 
God's love is. Let's do it one more time all together. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep God's love is. God's love for us is deeper and wider than even the water that flooded the whole earth. God always loves us. Wow, God. And his love protects us and cares for us just as it did for Noah. Let's celebrate with another song. Get up and sing and dance along. story tells about a man named Noah and a big flood. A flood happens when the ground is covered with water. God sent a flood to wash away sin. Sin happens when we want to be in charge. We choose our way instead of God's way. God's friend Noah chose to go God's way. The Bible says he was righteous. That means he did what was right and stayed close to God. When the flood came, God kept Noah and his family and two of every kind of animal safe. Look at our Bible study poster. What animals do you see? What animals have you seen this week? Can you name some of them? Can you act like some of the animals? Maybe pause the video and act like some of the animals that you see in the poster. See if a family member can guess what animal you're being. God made sure Noah brought one of every one of those animals on the big boat before the earth was covered with water. Wow, God. I'm going to read to you from the Bible. Look. I am going to cover the earth with a flood and destroy every living being. Everything in which there is the breath of life, all will die. But I promise to keep you safe in the ship with your wife and your sons and their wives. Bring a pair of every animal, a male and a female, into the boat with you to keep them alive throughout the flood. Bring in a pair of each kind of bird, an animal, and reptile. That's what the Bible said. God told Noah exactly how to make the big boat that could hold all his family members and two of every each kind of animal. Let's pretend to build this big boat. So first we need to get some wood. So let's chop down some trees. So get your axe to chop down those trees. We need lots of wood. This is a huge boat. Remember, it has 
of one of or two of every kind of animal there is. So it needs to be huge. So chop down lots of trees. Chop, 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 chop. Now pick them all up. Oh, that's a lot of heavy wood. And we're going to carry it to an empty space where we're going to build our ark. So carry all your wood. And now we need to hammer nails into the wood. So get your hammer and your nails. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. You're building your boat. So stacking your wood on top. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Watch out for your fingers when you're hammering. Bang, bang, bang. And now we have to climb into our boat. We can't just step into it. Remember, this is huge. So we need to climb our ladder to get up there. All right, good. God always loves us. Wow, God. He loved Noah and his family and protected them from the water. So now we're on our boat, and there's lots of big waves. So sit on your boat. You feel the waves rocking you, and then it starts to rain. So make it rain, making it rain. Lots of rain. There's even a thunderstorm. Can you make the thunder boom, boom, boom? Lots of rain coming down. Can you th think about how the animals might have reacted to the storm? Can you make some animal sounds? Pick your favorite animal. Remember, there's two of every animal on this boat. How are they going to react to our rain and thunderstorm? The Bible says it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. That's a pretty big number. Can you count to 40? Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. Oh. So you can imagine if it was raining for forty days and forty nights, just how long that was and how much rain there was. When it stopped raining, the whole earth was just covered in water. Even the tops of the mountains. Noah's family and the animals waited on the boat for months and months. God kept them safe the whole time because God always loves us. Wow, God. So pretend you're huddled up on the boat. Say a prayer and thank God for loving us and keeping us safe. Let's keep reading from the Bible to find out how they knew it was okay to leave the boat. Find my place in the Bible. After another 40 days, Noah opened a portal and released a raven that flew back and forth until the earth was dry. Meanwhile, he sent out a dove to see if it could find dry land of dry ground. But the dove found no place to light and returned to Noah, for the water was still too hot. So Noah held out his hand and drew the dove back into the boat. At first, the birds didn't find any dry land. But then Noah tried again and again until a bird came back with a leaf from a tree. Then God told Noah it was safe to leave the boat. God had kept Noah and his family safe and gave the world a fresh start. So let's pretend to be birds. We're flapping. We're looking for dry land. And then finally, let's fly back to the boat to let them know with our, we have a leaf in our map beaks. And now they know that there's dry land. So don't, don't cheer. Yes, we can finally get off the boat. Yay. We can finally get off. God always loves us. Wow, God. So let's all get, pretend we're the animals getting off the boats. What animal are you going to act like getting off the boat? Maybe an elephant? Maybe a monkey, maybe a giraffe like Savannah or Bible Memory Buddy. Make sure as you get off the boat that you say, thank you, God. 
Remember, God made a promise to Noah and to us. I'm going to continue to read from the Bible. When I send clouds over the earth, the rainbow will be seen in the clouds, and I will remember my promise to you and to every being that never again will the floods come and destroy all life. After the storm, God sent a rainbow and promised to never again wash away sin with a flood. Think about how you can make a rainbow. Do you have any streamers at your house? If not, run around and find maybe some colorful socks or even a colorful shirt that you can wave around. And then we're going to wave it around in front of us over our heads to make a rainbow. So find something. You might want to pause this video. Go find something that you can make a rainbow. Encourage your family maybe to pick a different color pair of socks or a shirt. And all of you wave it above your head like this. And you need to remember to say, God always loves us. Make those rainbows. Now would be a good time to try one of our apply it options. You can take some colorful pom-poms or beads or building bricks and put them in rainbow order. Remember that God always loves us. Wow, God. He sent the rainbow to remind us of a special promise he made to us in Noah. Another option is to take some Play-Doh and build a boat like God did, or like Noah did, and put two of every animal in there. God always loves us. Wow, God. He told Noah to make a big boat to hold his family and two of every kind of animal. Another thing you could do is do our coloring page. Remember that God always loves us. Wow, God. God promised to never flood the earth again. And he wants to be forever friends with us. Add a rainbow to your picture. If you got out the streamers to make a rainbow and wave it above, glue them to your picture. Is there anything else you can use to glue to your picture to make a rainbow? It's almost time for us to say goodbye. So get up and dance as we sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, my friend. It's time to go It's time to make my way back home I know Jesus loves me He loves me so loves us. Wow, God. But God does not love sin. We sin when we choose our own way instead of God's way. Sin keeps us from being close to God, and sometimes it comes between us and the people we love. But God always loves us. Wow, God. God wants to be close to us so we can be good friends. He doesn't want sin to keep us away from him. He sent Jesus to wash away our sins so we can be close to God again. Let's say a prayer. Hold your hands. Look down. God, thanks for do-overs. Even when I'm drowning in sin, I know you've forgiven me because of Jesus and that you want to be my friend. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Because of our friend Jesus, we can always be close to God. 
God always loves us. Wow, God. Remember our Savannah, our Bible memory butter, but buddy, helps us remember that God always loves us. Wow, God. As we leave, get up and sing and dance to our song to help us remember our Bible memory verse, how wide.